I stopped in Brazil and I got the cheese bread and I've had this in previous years but it looks very different. It's flat. It used to be more like little balls so I'm curious to see if it tastes the same and that's gluten free by the way even though it says bread it's gluten free and this is I have no idea how to say it. It's their frozen... Pepito? No, no. I'm not even going to murder it but um, it's really tasty. I've had it in previous years. Well, Brian said he didn't love it this year, and I had it in previous years, and I liked it. So we'll see if it's still the same. So I finished my cheese bread, and even though it looked different, it tasted exactly the same. It's very good. And I finished the drink, and it's like a frozen... It's the only frozen drink on the Brazil menu, so... Um, if I can remember when I edit this, I'll put it across the screen. But anyway, it was really good for the first few sips, like really good. And then it just kept getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Alana's gonna stop in Ireland, but she's not getting something on the menu. She's getting the off-menu 35th anniversary champagne with a light-up glass, which I was really tempted to get. So the later it gets, the more the crowds pick up, but food and wine booths are still not busy. They're still not long lines. And the band is on in Canada. All right, Alana got the 35th anniversary champagne glass that lights up, very cool. And some blue champagne, hey, why not? I don't, what does the blue symbolize? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. And what'd you get? Oh, you got that, the, that the the fondue yeah. type thing. Yeah. Yum. And it is super windy because yeah. of that cloud right there. And we might get rained on. Alana just figured out how to make her glass change colors. It's cool so thing. cool. It has a button on the bottom. That's actually a really cool glass. Yeah. Can't put it in the dishwasher though. No. That 35 would come right on off. We're stopping in New Zealand and Brian is going to get the steamed mussels which he's had before and he said they're really good. We're also stopping in Australia and Alana is going to get the grilled sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp. Alana got the bushberry shrimp and Brian got the green lip mussels. Those are really really good. Yeah. Yummy. So unfortunately Alana is the first victim today of a heat lamp episode. She said they're kind of lukewarm room temperature and they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be warm. Yeah. That's a bummer. Do you like the flavors if it wasn't for the temperature issue? Yeah. It's not too spicy. But I think it would taste better if it was actually like warm. Yeah, I'm sure it would. <laughs> so Brian, how were the mussels? These were amazing. Um, I don't know. The flavor is really nice and warm. Poor Lana's was cold. Oh, sad. that really does stink. <laughs> Look at that face. Yeah. It's okay. This but this time. is amazingly really good. So yeah. you said that might move up to number two? This is number two slot, yeah. Wow. All right, it's raining a little, but I wanted to film Figment while well, there's no one in front of him. It's been hard to get him without people. And here's Hope. <laughs> That was fun seeing Hope, so we're going to ride Figment because it's at Pop 35th, so we've got to ride Figment. And man, is the standby line long. It said 40 minutes when we came in. So we're sitting here waiting to go, but we made it on Figment on the 35th anniversary of Epcot. That's pretty cool. Go, 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 go,
a global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Riot, yeah, Riot's heads missing various parts. It's your glasses, yeah. I look fine, mostly. They sort of cut my hair off. Wow, wow. No problem. Just pack up and go. So, our friend Alana texted us because she went to Starbucks and they had the 35, um, Epcot 35th mugs there. So, we turn around and went back. We were on our way out, but we went back and got that. Um, I don't know if they'll sell out. I just didn't want to risk it. But um, it's all boxed up, so I'm not going to take it out right now, but it'll definitely be in a future or haul video for sure. So we had an amazing day at Epcot on Epcot's 35th anniversary. I'm glad we were here. And say bye to Spaceship Earth in the background there. So we're going to head out of the park, but our day is not over. It's not that late yet. And we're going to go to the Pop Century Food Court and get something to eat next, I think. A final goodbye today to Spaceship Earth. We made it back to Pop, almost on the bus, very pleasant air conditioned bus ride, and we're gonna grab some dinner at Everyday Pop. We're heading into the Pop gift shop. It's our first time here, this trip. Uh, we usually come in here quite a bit when we stay at Pop. I actually really like their gift shop. They have a lot of stuff. Don't you think this is one of the better gift shops? It seems like the values have better ones than the deluxes. We've actually bought several things. So we really have. Well, it's other gift shops we don't. It's t look at all the floor space. Like a lot of the other gift shops feel jammed in, where this has tons of room. I'll show it when we get to the room. But we stopped at Everything Pop Food Court, and I got a turkey dinner that's gluten free. It was specially made by the chef. And now I'm looking in the sort of refrigerated section because Brian said they do have the baby cake cupcakes here. And there they are. Yum. So by the way, early is a good time to come to the food court. Five o'clock, a little after. 5.45. 5 so almost six. It's wide open. And Brian was here last night late and it was packed. It's like eight o'clock when I was here. Yes, yeah, super packed. <laughs> So just FYI, they have closed the Pop Century ice cream parlor that was over here. And if you were on the dining plan, that used to be a great dessert option. I mean, I don't even know if it was anymore, so don't quote me on that part. But they do have some soft serve around the corner, but that's a, that's so sad. Also, I thought I would film. Sometimes people ask me, what kind of medications do they sell? So I thought I'd film this really quickly. So they do have a pretty wide selection. And we definitely used Mucinex on our last trip. But it is kind of nice to know what they have if you forget things and you don't have a car. So this uh, laptop is pretty cool on our 90s building. You got some, what is it, CDs? It's <laughs> so we just got back to our awesome pop room, still living this room, and we're gonna have our nice dinner at our table here. Here's my gluten-free turkey dinner. It looks really good. I think the only thing that was different than just what everybody else gets is they left the gravy off, which is fine with me. I'm not a big gravy person. Looks really tasty. I wanted something semi-healthy, and I also got a cup of strawberries. They're, like, ridiculously expensive. They were $3.99, but I don't care. I promised myself this time I would eat some more healthy food, even if it costs more. Here's Brian's veggie burger. I know you can't really see the burger that well, but it's in there. And it came with two sides, so we got pasta salad and french fries, and those fries were hot out of the fryer, so that should be very good. So how was your dinner? We didn't talk about dinner. It was really good. So you had uh, the veggie burger? The veggie burger is actually pretty, pretty darn good. <laughs> I was shocked. Yeah, well mine was great. My breakfast this morning was eh, it was alright. wasn't great, I wouldn't get it again. But the dinner was fantastic. I had the turkey dinner, and it was really, really tasty. I would definitely get that again. So I think we're gonna wrap up the vlog. I know it looks early out, but it's like 6.30 ish. I don't I have so. my watch. Yeah. But we're gonna have an early evening because we're getting up for 8 a.m. Magic Kingdom opening. Or we're gonna early. try, we're gonna try. And so we thought we'd come out here by the pop pool. Yeah. This is one of the quiet pools between the 80s and the 90s yeah. buildings. So thanks for following along today. We had an awesome day It was today. an awesome day. Yeah, Epcot's 35th yep. was Happy birthday up. again, Epcot. Yes, happy birthday, Epcot. So thanks for joining us. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Bye.